Hello, greetings. This is your pastor, Pastor Hall, getting in touch with you and wishing you a happy Sabbath. It's been a while now since we've been able to connect together, to worship together in our beautiful church. And I stand here alone in this empty church, but I know that God's presence and God's spirit is not only here, but it is with us in our homes as we worship together as families. Let me share with you a few very exciting things. Your board of elders, our board of elders, together with our church board leadership, has been meeting every week on a Tuesday, sometimes on a Thursday, to find a way forward to keep the church family together. We've talked about many things, how to be able to reach people, how to pray for people, how to encourage people, how to organize fellowship groups for people. I'm glad to let you know that from this coming Sabbath tomorrow morning, we will be beginning full-time church services at Santon Church. Not in the church building, but through the media, we are able to reach. We will be having Sabbath school for the adults will be having Sabbath school for the children's department. We will be having worship service for the adults. We will also be having the divine worship hour service for the, uh, the children as well as the adults. And so uh, we're going to be having full-time church. I would like to urge you and encourage you. Let us connect and link up with our media facility and let us worship God together as a church. There are different departments in the church that have done very well. Our Sabbath school department done extremely well. During the past weeks, they have formed, they have formed uh, Sabbath school classes in different parts of the city so that we can be able to connect and link up and have live Sabbath school discussion and study. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Sabbath school uh, leaders, thank you very much for coming up with such a wonderful plan. I also would like to thank our children's division for them having organized lovely stories, story time for our children. Thank you very much. God bless you for that. I want to thank our women's ministries department. I want to thank the ladies for their prayer with the guidance and the leadership of our sister Shoni. They have been able through Zoom, they've been able to reach and pray for people in hospital, shut-ins, discouraged, those who just need encouragement. They've been able to pray for them. Thank you for that ministry. The men's ministry, thank you for all the efforts you've made. I know that we, pray, we were praying for Elder Ray and his situation in hospital. We're praying for his wife, his family. Thank you so much, men for organizing that. Thank you so much. God bless you, Elder Buyala, with your team. Then I also would like to thank Sister Busi, our Family Lives Department. It's been very active, robustly active. Together, they have linked up with Pastor Papu, Dr. Papu and his wife, and provided Santin Church with a beautiful program of how to be able to maintain strong family relationships. Thank you so much for that. I enjoyed all three of the presentations that were made. And we'd like to thank Sister Busi and the husband for that important work and role that they have put together. Then I would like to thank the conference. The conference, together with, uh, with uh, Meals on Wheels from the ADRA office in Heidelberg, they've been able to put a package together that if we are willing as a church to partner together with them, a threesome partnership, the conference, Meals on Wheels, ADRA, and our welfare department and leadership, if we are willing to partner together, they are willing to put money together so that our, our members who perhaps are going through a struggle, no food, nothing to eat, no wages, they are able to put a program together so that we can be able to help 
these. So let us, if you know any family that is struggling, that has nothing to eat, no resources, please contact your, the, um, the welfare department leaders and the conference will, within 12 hours, make money available so that our members can be taken care of. I thought that was brilliant and wonderful. Thank you, conference, for a good program like that. I would like to wish you God's richest blessing. Don't be discouraged. Never give up because God is always there for his people. When you feel a little low, lift up your heads. Ask God to be there with you to help you and he will help you. I want you to know that as from this coming Sabbath, I will try and endeavor by God's grace to make contact with each one of you through this medium so that when lockdown comes to an end, we can indeed, we can indeed be excited to see God's children coming together. No one missing, everyone together. I look forward to meeting you through Zoom, through media tomorrow morning. God bless you. Have a good night.